Hello, Christian Church Disciples of Christ in Ohio. This is Reverend Kara Swartz from Newark Central Christian Church Disciples of Christ. And I invite you to read the scripture in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20, and reflect on these words. Have you heard the good news? It seems like such an inane question to ask in a time where much of the news we hear in the here and now is not always what most would call good. And yet these words resonate in my soul during this season. Every year growing up, I would hear this question asked of the people who came to our church's live nativity. It would be silent. Every person on the scene as still as they could be until the question was asked, have you heard the good news? Have you heard the good news? These words were followed simply by the rest of Luke 2, 1 through 20 RSV, if a more stylized version. And this scripture of Luke is familiar to so many of us. It's heard almost annually in church as part of our Advent and Christmas seasons. We, particularly those of us raised as disciples, will know these words. We have indeed heard the good news. We can say, yes, we've heard it. We know this story. But as people of faith, though, it's not enough to only hear the good news about Jesus. We're called, called, I know that word, to then give evidence to what is being proclaimed. Even in Luke 2, the scriptures tell us to look for signs of a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. This question begs of us, and this scripture begs of us, to not only hear the good news, but to witness the good news, to see the love of God come down, real, tangible, visible. And yet, having you, having, having heard is easy. It is showing, proving the good news that, that most of us find harder. Taking words and turning them into actions is making the good news of God's love come down visible in our world. Our actions in this season and throughout the year help others to connect what we have heard with what has been seen. So have you heard the good news? And have you shared the good news so that God's love the love that we hear about time and time and time again can be more visible all around us. Will you pray with me? Holy One, help us to not only hear the familiar words of your love in this world, but help us also take action to show signs of that love so all may see your love made more visible throughout this season. Amen. Have a wonderful day.